Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Taj Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts Podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. I want to welcome back uh, Stephen Ocho Peterson to the show. He has a big fight coming up at Tough 27 finale against Matt Bissett, July 6th. What's going on, man? Uh, not much. Just, uh, you know, toning down, getting ready for the fight. So here we are, just what, a little, about a week away, man. Uh, how do you feel? I feel great, man. Uh, never better. Never been healthier. Uh, I'm just excited to go in there and, and get the job done. So Matt Bissett, man, uh, <laughs> you know a little bit about him, uh, but without revealing your game plan, what wrinkles have you added? Um, just to add a lot of stuff to my recovery regimen, I've been going to physical therapy, just uh, making sure my body's healthy, because uh, I'm, I'm just used to pushing myself way too hard and grinding myself down um, to where I'm all beat up come fight week. Uh, this time it's been a lot different. I've been taking a lot better care of my body, so... Uh, I have more energy, um, just healthier, and, uh, you know, I, I feel like that's going to make a big difference. So, man, you guys at Fortis, you guys are blowing up now, man. How does that make you feel? I mean, your camp is finally getting the recognition that, you know, you guys deserve. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, um, and we're just excited to, uh, you know, finally, I think we have like seven, eight, seven guys in the UFC now. So uh, in the past year, we've just uh, been making a, a big name for ourselves in the sport. What do you attribute that to, man? I mean, you guys all have this incredible... You guys are just all very hard-nosed. You guys are just willing to all throw caution to the wind, and you'll bang with anybody, but you guys all have that same makeup. Is it in the water? What is it? Iron Sharp is Iron Man, um, and when all the best guys from you know around Dallas come together in the same place, uh, it just makes for greatness. Uh, you know, we don't need to go to other states or other countries to uh, to go get our training it's all right here uh, at fortis mma so uh, like i said iron sharpens iron and uh, we're all there making each other better i love it man i love it uh let me ask you man uh dallas uh the for, i'm gonna actually fly into dallas for the very first time i'm covering uh bell tour 202 in thackerville uh, oklahoma right. and i have to fly into to dallas i guess it's about an hour away but uh, do you ever get a chance? I know that you guys go to a lot of uh, smaller events, regional events in the area. But uh, do you ever get a chance to go to, uh, to any Bell Tour events or anything like that? Yeah, we've had a few guys on those cards uh, over in Thackerville. It's it's not far, and uh, you know uh, they put guys like uh, Sean Holden. Um, I know Rashad's been on a couple of those cards before he got signed with the UFC. Uh, yeah, so a few of our guys have fought on those cards and. Yeah, we'll go out there and support for sure. Very cool, man. Uh, who are some of the guys that you spent uh, training, getting ready for Matt? Uh, I've been training with uh, Damon Jackson, Miles Johns, Colton Uglin. Uh We just got we got a ton of lighter weight guys. Uh, it's hard to name them all, but uh, tons of high level lighter weight guys. So uh, yeah, a uh, lot lot of great looks um, to mimic Matt, and uh, yeah feel great so you you probably put on one of the most uh in my opinion it was like the, the highlight of the contender series last season man but now seeing like this show's really taken off man taking a life of its own but having competed in that first season and, and having competed in such an amazing fight uh i don't know what does that mean to you i mean because this show is really it's amazing now yeah i mean the contender is a perfect platform for guys to to go out there and show dana and uh, Sean Shelby, Mick Maynard, what, what we're capable of. And, uh, you know, it's a good tryout for the UFC. And uh, I'm just excited that I was a part of it. Um, obviously, I wish I would have got the W, but put on a great fight and ended up getting a contract in the long run. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it. The Tough 27 finale, man. There's two different ri the cages that the UFC uses, right? They use the bigger one and the smaller one. Is that going to affect you at all, being in the smaller cage? I like a small cage. Uh, that just means my opponent can't run from me. <laughs> and uh, I like to go in there and bang. So, 
Um, the smaller the cage, the better. Shoot, if it was five by five, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> How's the fight fit lifestyle coming? How's the uh, the business going, man? Uh, it's going great. Um, you know, just working on perfecting our gear. We got some good boxing gloves, shin guards, MMA gloves. Uh, and then since my last fight, uh, I used that bonus, went and bought a cryotherapy machine. And uh, so now we've been uh, offering cryotherapy at one of the gyms I train at called The Den in Allen, Texas. And uh, yeah, it's just taken off and blowing up. I saw that on, I think it was on your Instagram or your Twitter, one of your feeds there, I saw the cryotherapy machine. Uh, have you had a chance to uh, f- use that yet? I, I think I saw you actually in it, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, yeah, I use that probably four or five times a week. Uh, whenever I go through a real hard training session, I hop in there. Um, basically, gets the inflammation out of your body and uh, so you can start healing quicker. And are, do you use CBD and do you use all the other um, means of recovery as well? Uh, massage therapy, acupuncture, um, just whatever's available to me. Okay. Have you ever tried the CBD? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, C- CBD is a great alternative medicine. Um, I'm all about the all-natural healing, so uh, I'm all for it, and, and it's great. Yeah, it's amazing, man. It just seems like um, within the last, I want to say, maybe four or five years, it's like you're seeing all these different alternative means of recovery, and I think it's going to lead to, uh, to to better fights all in all, man. I, I really do. So let me ask you, man, you're, you're just about a week away from the fight now. Uh, you mentioned at the the beginning of our conversation that you're kind of whittling your way down. How's your weight looking? How much more weight do you have to go? Uh, my weight's on point, um, especially at featherweight. Weight, weight's never going to be an issue. I could uh, I could take a fight on a week's notice, and, and I'll make weight just fine. So, yeah, that's not going to be a problem. I don't even fight, but it pisses me off when people miss weight egregiously, four, five, six pounds, man. I mean, you're a guy that isn't going to miss weight no matter what. You're going to, you know, you cut off a leg if you got to, right? I mean, yeah. does that make you mad? I'll end up in the hospital before I miss weight. So, like when you see people miss weight by seven pounds, doesn't that just doesn't that piss you off? Yeah, it's very unprofessional. Um, and those guys, especially when it happens, you know, if it happens once, it's like okay, maybe something happened. Maybe you know, there's a reason for it. But if it's a reoccurring thing, you definitely got to go up a weight class. You can't. Uh, it's just it's just bad sportsmanship. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, I think, and you mentioned weight class, I think by adding the other proposed weight classes, I think that could maybe alleviate some of the, the missed weight uh, opportunities too, you know? Oh, definitely. Definitely. But, uh, I mean, I don't know much. Ask my wife. She'll tell you that I don't know much, you know? <laughs> but I appreciate you doing this, Stephen. I know that you're super busy, especially just about a week out from the fight here. I always like to give you guys a few minutes, shout out your sponsors, teammates, whatever you'd like, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, I want to give a shout out to... All my team at Fortis MMA, my coach, Safe Saud, my boxing coach, Tony Mack. Uh, I th- want to thank my sponsors, Hutchins Barbecue, Knuckle Up Tattoo, Fight Fit Lifestyle, uh, Urban Nate Food Court, and Kodiak Contracting. Uh, give me a like on Instagram at 8 and Facebook.com slash Ocho Nation. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, anytime, Mike. Appreciate you having me on. Thank <laughs> you.